What's up guys, Kip is here. I'm actually here today doing not an unboxing video, but an upgrade video for my mid-2011 Mac Mini. Uh, I recently found out on a blog post at otherworldcomputing.com that the Mac Mini, which is officially only supposed to handle a maximum of 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is what I upgraded this uh, stock model to, um, it's actually capable of handling uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that would be two 8 gigabyte uh, memory modules. So as soon as I found this out, I of course was looking for the greatest deal because 8 gigabyte uh, RAM cards are still pretty expensive. And uh, looking at Apple and other world computing themselves, I found out that some RAM upgrade kits were closing in on a thousand dollars or more. But I was actually lucky enough to find uh, Patriot Memory, which I have used in the past before, and it's never let me down yet, um, specifically Apple-ready uh, um, memory. And this is uh, PC3 uh, 10,600 running at 1333 megahertz, which is the exact type of RAM that we would need for this upgrade. And as you can see, I've got two of them. Uh, two 8 gigabyte modules, giving us a total of 16 gigabytes of RAM inside the Mac Mini. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this right now. And I figured I'd just put this little video together because I know some people uh, like to watch these kinds of upgrade videos. So I am more than happy to oblige. So we're going to start by opening up the bottom of the Mac Mini, which is simple enough. You just twist it. Uh, counterclockwise and the cover pops right off. So here is the inside of the Mac Mini and I can see that there is some dust in here. I haven't dusted it out in quite a long time but here are the two 4 gigabyte RAM modules that I installed about I'd say six to eight months ago and um, again very good RAM and the computer served me very well but uh, Doing this RAM upgrade, I do use this machine a lot for iMovie and uh, rendering a lot of uh, 1080p video now, of course, with the iPhone 5 with uh, such a great uh, built-in camera, so I figured, what the hell. I actually got these two RAM modules for $47 a piece. That includes tax at fries.com, and I will be going ahead and giving you guys a link to this exact uh, series of RAM. Again, like I said before, it's from Patriot Memory. And being the only user serviceable part in this machine, of course, it is very simple to do this upgrade. So this isn't going to take very much time at all. So it's as simple as taking the new RAM out of the package and taking the old RAM out. As a matter of fact, why don't we just start out and give this a quick blowjob? Alright. Let's go ahead and remove the old RAM modules, and that's as simple as this. Just pulling these two tabs apart, the memory module lifts right up. You just pull it right out. So there you go. That's the original the camera to focus. There we go. Four gigabyte RAM module from Samsung, which is a little bit ironic considering the nature of Apple and Samsung's relationship as of late. And here's the second module. And here are, or here's at least one of the new modules. So as you can see, 8 gigabytes. Go ahead and refocus. All right. So, of course, we do start with putting the module on the bottom in first. It snaps right in. Taking the second module here. Again, making sure to get the notches lined up and also make sure not to touch these gold contactors. Um, otherwise, you might uh, inhibit the performance of the RAM and also be sure to install the RAM on a 45 degree angle as you can see right there and just gently push it down 
and it all sits together like that. So now that we have the RAM installed, we're going to go ahead and pop the cover back on, which should not be too much of an issue if I can line up the holes properly. And then turning it clockwise, all locks back together like that. All right, so now that we have the 16 gigabytes of RAM installed, now we're going to go ahead and start up the system and see if uh, the Mac Mini recognizes it. All right, so I've gone ahead and put the Mac Mini back into my uh, media center here, uh, hooked up to my Sony Bravia 42-inch TV. What's up, guys? And we're going to go ahead and boot up the system real quick and see if the Mac Mini recognizes the full 16 gigabyte RAM upgrade that we just did. Let's cross our fingers. That's a good sign. A bong for Steve Jobs. We've got the Apple logo popped right up. All right, so there's the desktop. Boot it up fairly quickly, not as fast as I'd like but my desktop is fully up and we're gonna go ahead and get some information about this computer eventually it's a little slow it concerns me a little bit about this Mac alright so Mac OS 10 version 10.7.5 and it does recognize 16 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to go ahead and get some more info, if I can find my cursor. There it is. So it does recognize 16 gigabytes. We're going to go to the memory tab here in this diagnostic window. And again, 16 gigabytes installed. And it does recognize two 8 gigabyte modules, which means that this RAM upgrade was a success. So we can go ahead and close out this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this content, and if you did, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, do all that neat stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.